details tonight on the investigation into the death of a five-year-old girl thrown from a bridge, police say, by her own father. Tonight, the Department of Children and Families is promising swift changes in how the agency responds to potential child abuse cases. So I was sick to my stomach and I'm angry and I'm frustrated that we can't uh, better protect kids. The secretary of the Department of Children and Families says it's been his goal to reduce child deaths in the state. And losing five-year-old Phoebe Johnchuk in such a horrific manner sent a loud message that the system needs to be fixed. I cannot imagine the fear uh, that that little girl uh, experienced in the last moments of her life. That should not happen to any kid. Carol, who spoke with our affiliate in Tampa, has appointed a panel of child welfare experts and law enforcement to review over the next 30 days the safeguard failures that allowed 25-year-old John Johnchuk to be with his daughter despite showing signs of a mental breakdown. Carol says he would have sent DCF investigators out within four hours of hearing about John Chuck's issues, but he's not sure if it would have saved her life. I don't know whether we would have even located him, him there, but I know this. Uh, I would rather have that protocol in place than not. Unlike last week when John Chuck told a judge he wanted God to defend him in this case, this time he stayed silent in court, drooping his head putting his face in his hands and shifting around in his chair as a judge appointed him a public defender. Meanwhile, DCF's chief says he's not blaming sheriff's deputies who chose not to Baker Act John Chuck when they had the chance, but instead he put the pressure on his department to prevent more child deaths in the future. The buck will always stop with the Department of Children and Families on a child welfare case. This is, of course, just the latest incident in what has been a years-long call for DCF to do more to protect children. Those calls came most notably after two South Florida cases unfolded, that of Nubia Barahona, who police say was murdered by her adopted father, and Brian Osceola, a little boy left to die in a hot car. Both cases revealed problems in DCF's system.